traitor is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Let's go hooded here. Watch my light man! I want to see the light. Leave your eyes. when it's time. Probably cowering within the monastery. alone.
Stop the heathen! Raider! Viking! Stop her! She means to erase me, to banish me from your minds! Fight in my name! Die for me! Die for me! That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you to see. should return. Before I let go and burn this heap to the ground, going forward I must take care. Houses can be built anew, crops will return with time, but trust, that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Jalskona, my deepest thanks. And, there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. 
We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grandbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Rande. Best tell her the good news. Good day, Eivor. We are allied with the Danes of Grandebridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter, and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory.
There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. With me! 